it just obviously that was a really good win for us. You know, emotional win last night, quick turnaround. Guys go to class, you know, come back. We eat we eat at noon and here we go. And um, you know, played a few different guys today and gave them another opportunity or their first opportunity this week and uh pitched some different guys. And uh, again, we got behind and fought back and I think two different times we were behind, maybe three and you know, used to use the, the the sack bunt a couple times today. Once effectively, for sure, scored a couple after that. And sack fly just kind of manufactured some runs. And uh, I mean, two solo homers, uh, but but a really nice job again by the bullpen. Um, you know, Stone there just threw get me over fastball, and the guy hammered it. A lot of times, you'll see somebody take one there, but great job responding and striking out the pinch hitter on on three pitches and. Uh, just big, big wins for us in the midweek. Yeah, David, I guess I'll follow up on that. I mean, you have a rough series with Alabama. You got to go back on a road. How good is it to come home and play? You know, obviously a quality program and win two tight games. Yeah, it's real good. You know, I made the comment a couple of days ago that I was glad we were playing a Power 5 school and a team that already had like 26 wins and, you know, had some good numbers. We were going to have to play good or – take advantage of some things to, to find a way to win one of them and much less two. And uh, I thought our guys did a really good job. They showed up mentally both days, played super hard. And, uh, you know, today was the, was the day that, you know, we could have just kind of said, okay, well, we got ours yesterday. It's not going our way, but, you know, they just kept swinging and getting on base and, they, they, they just grinded out some at bats, got some walks hit by pitch and, manufactured that run there in the eighth and that was end up being the big run yeah that ended up being a big run that ended up being a big double play ball because then, then it's a solo home run not a two run home run. yeah I, I, how, how big are you know those things just the way it yeah, I mean, happened you know, this right? game's funny you know you line out you blue balls in you hit hard ground balls at them you hit choppers to get in and it's sometimes you just you have to be a little bit lucky and we we were that uh, but we also uh, when you think about it, the play Stovall made, that was definitely a skill play um, with the headlong dive like that. He couldn't get the ball out of his gloves. It was kind of stuck in his web and might have been a double play. And then, you know, lining into the double play there. Uh, yeah, it's just that's the way the game is sometimes. It can be kind of cruel to you. But we kind of feel we had a lot of that happen to us this past weekend. We just – we had balls hard, especially on the ground, but we hit them at them. And uh, – you know, over time, some it'll even up. You know, I feel like we might might have got a break or two this today for sure. Yeah, this was by far the longest outing of the year for Cooper Dossett. Just what did you make of his performance today? I thought he was really good. You know, for he comes out and he goes like three zero and comes back, gets a guy. I think he might have done it done it one other time. And stuff was good. You know, the ball really they 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 hit him hard there, uh, lined out to right field, and you know the other play, but. I mean, he threw good. He hadn't thrown in a while. Stuff's good. Um, one time through the order was probably good. And, uh, you know, he helped, he helped get us through that, you know, like the seventh, seventh, eighth, sixth, seventh, eighth, whatever it was. And um, it was at a time that we, we needed it. We needed somebody to come in and give us not just one, but maybe five or six outs. And Fisher, I know he gave up a couple of runs, but he gave you four innings. Just uh, what, what did you think of his start? Yeah, I mean, the first inning was really good. The second inning, they hit the ball extremely hard. We got out of it, only giving up one run, and we really we should probably should, I, was that the inning that we didn't catch pop up, or was that the third? You know, the third they it looked like they could, you know, they were going to have a big inning. Should have got out of it just one because we didn't catch pop up. But you know, that's tough air for Stovall. He's on that side of the bag. Shortstop's over here, and he's trying to help him out because the last second he realized he wasn't going to catch the ball, mm -hmm. and. He's staggering over there trying to find the ball, and, yeah, it's too bad. But, uh, you know, just really good job coming back and giving us the fourth. And he really got his changeup going and got a couple strikeouts. You guys had uh, Peyton Holt and Ben McLaughlin lead off the inning by getting on base, and then, of course, Aloy and Matt Wagner dro drove them both in. Uh, just what do you think of – what did you think of uh, that inning right there in the bottom of the sixth? Well, that, again, you know, it's uh, an inning where we – manufactured a little bit um but we also got a big hit or two and uh you know Malloy didn't have a great game at the plate really but and he was a little frustrated but he got a big hit there and 
you know, probably carried over from last night. Didn't have a great day last night. And then today wasn't going good, but then he got the big hit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was – it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to get two and three hits in an inning. If you're going to score a couple runs, usually something's happened. They've walked you, hit you. Uh, they've given you a free pass, and we took advantage of it that inning and scored two instead of one, and that was big. First of, firstly, uh, Jason's all right, I guess, after being hit in the head. Oh, yeah, he came back. yeah, yeah, he's good. And then can you just walk us through, you know, all the substitutions that were made in the eighth and kind of the explanation that you got? No, not really, but what happened with Jason was, uh, you know, you have a, a concussion protocol. He can leave the game and come back if we want him to. So I took him out. He was he seemed to be fine. He got checked out. They said he was fine. And uh, let Wilmsmeyer uh, go in there. And, you know, when that first happened, I was pretty much informed that, you know, I could probably reenter. Number one didn't really count putting him in if you took him back out. Well, then I was told after they conferred that one of the umpires said, no, you, he's in, you can't re-enter him. So just left Jason in. And I kind of thought that might happen. It wasn't a major ordeal, but uh, I would like to have put that center fielder back in there for defense. But, you know, I was good with, with the the outfield alignment. Um, you know, I put – I put uh, – who was it? Helfrick into pinch hit because he he takes good swings off lefty, and it, he didn't even get anything close. I even green lighted him three zero. Threw it two foot outside. It's kind of strange. And then obviously we re-entered Jason, and he got hit with the first pitch, and that ended up being a huge run for us. So uh, that's really all we did. With the way Jason played the last couple of days, do you look at him maybe in a, a weekend type role? Yeah. Yeah, especially against maybe some left-handed pitching. Because mm -hmm. um, I, th I thought he played good, played hard, had some good at-bats, had really good bats off the lefties, and, uh, you know, had a couple pretty good at-bats last night, obviously, with those doubles. So uh, it's good to get another guy in the mix and bring maybe it brings a little power to a little different. I know you didn't have to bring him in, but I think we saw Dylan Carter getting loose in the yep. bullpen. So is he good, good to go? Yeah, he was he was next, and um, you know we were planning on bringing him in uh, for an inning or something, but you know we decided just to to go back with with Dossett because he was throwing the ball pretty good, and at the time it was it was what it was. You know we 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 know he's healthy. He says he's 100 percent pain free and good to go, um, but you know yeah he was ready to go, and we were going to bring him in if if we got into a jam there in the ninth. Texas Tech looked like a different kind of challenge than what you've had in the midweek to this point. I mean, from from your point of view, how much more so? Well, um, you know, offensively, the lineup's deeper than maybe some of the midweek lineups. You know, it's not like sometimes you get to some of the some schools, you know, you look at the batting average pretty good the first three or four, and then it starts to fade. Maybe the last three are not doing well at all. More defenders. These guys were more offensive, um, deep, deep deep lineup where you you got to try to maneuver through it every inning more like league play for us so looking for uh, head to south carolina this weekend you know that three-headed hitting that they've got with petri and messina and, and cassis you're able to shut them down last year but what, what have you seen from them and what makes them so challenging well obviously those guys are veteran hitters and they and they all have power too you know it's not like they're just hitting for an average or getting on base slapping it all over the play they're hitting the ball over your head and you have to they're they're all dangerous so you know, you can't really look past one to get to the other. Um, you know, obviously we haven't seen him in person, just watching video and watching some live games when they're playing. And then going off of, of, of what we know about him from playing him last year. So, you know, we'll we'll revisit revisit all that stuff starting tonight and tomorrow we'll get out of town and work on them on Thursday as well and Friday morning before we play. I think you all are seven and two in one run game, something like that. Besides talent and skill and all that, what goes into being able to win nine, eight, and five, four, and against good teams. Well, on the pitching side, defensive side, you know, we throw a lot of strikes and we don't make too many mistakes in the field. Um, you know, really, we didn't make one today except we just didn't catch a pop up that wasn't like we booted a double play ball that cost us a couple runs. But, you know, that when we didn't catch the ball, it cost us a run. And, uh, you know, we've been able to stay away from, you know, giving up, you know, pretty, you know, the cricket ending, the, the cricket number, so to speak, you know, we hold them to one 
And, uh, you know, that's that's why we've been able to stay in games and then we find ways to win it, whether it's with the big hit or a bunt or, you know, just manufacturing or whatever. Um, we we have a, we have an interesting offense. You know, they can be really good sometimes. And sometimes it's like, you know, it's quick innings. And, it's, you know, it can be frustrating. But we what we do because we can pitch is we stay close. And we were confident. And then, you know, we've just found ways to win. You know, you don't – when you don't screw up a lot, you're going to win those one-run games. Yeah, Dave's 25 straight home wins now. I mean, I guess somebody will beat you here eventually again. Do you remember the last time you lost a home game? Yeah. First weekend on a – Yeah. Like on a Sunday. Okay. So, pretty good team, too. They've been doing well. Um, it just what, – what do you think about that streak? I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. You know? Yeah, man. Well, they call the street just keeps going and going and going, but I don't know what to tell you. It's a uh, great job. Just keep winning at home. It's been nice. We need to go win on the road. And then I guess Peyton's a uh, whole has played all three uh, outfield spots to me. It looked pretty good in center. Yeah. He's, I don't think he had hit today, but he hit the ball hard a couple of times. Just kind of, how do you like him now? Maybe what he's giving you and yeah. and helping you. If, yeah. I, I like what I see out there. He's, he's athletic and he, Obviously, he runs well. He looks like he's seeing the ball pretty good off the bat. His reads have been pretty good, and he's been taking extra reps out there during batting practice instead of, like, maybe getting some extra hitting in the cage with his group or doing the base run. He's just been going to the outfield and just taking fly balls off the bat, working on reads, because that's that's key to being a good outfielder, seeing the ball off the bat, that first step. And uh, he's done a good job. And I like what he brings. He brings some energy. Brings a little speed to the base paths, a little bit of power, and uh, some attitude. So we need that. You think he'd be in left again uh, for Carolina? Maybe in center. Yeah, or he'll be somewhere. I take it. Yeah, he's gonna be in the lineup. And then, guys, okay, is the ro rotation stay the same? We can. Yeah, I don't see why we're gonna change it. Yeah. I'll let you know. But as of now, that's what it is. Yeah. And then one, one more. Um, you know, how good is it to go to Carolina? It's a tough place to play, obviously. But but now you're going with some momentum. Uh, no, it's it's it is a they're really good and they're good at home. It's a tough place to play. It's going to be warm. I mean, maybe the first day really warm, kind of cool down from there. So I'm glad we got to play in some warm weather today and then last night. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's like all SEC venues. It's tough to win on the road. You got to go over there and and you got to you got to play hard and you got to play smart. And when you get a chance to score, you got to score. And uh, you know, so we 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 know what's ahead of us. And Kendall Diggs, is he still looking good to practice tomorrow? Like you said yesterday. Yeah, yeah, practice tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, you know, they they said he should be good to go Friday. So if he is. He'll play. All right, coach. Okay, thank you. So Stone, when you were at KU, uh, you didn't have a great experience with Tech last year. I mean, does it feel good to be able to maybe get a little bit of retribution? Yeah, it feels good. It always feels good to win. So. Excited about that. Does it help when you've seen so many of those hitters uh, before the way you have? Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't know if I had faced any of those guys before. Okay. I just went out and pitched. Peyton, two two one run games the last two nights. I mean, did you kind of think this was maybe what you were getting into going up against a team like Texas Tech? And how good was it to bounce back from the weekend that was you know at, at Alabama? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Texas Tech's a really good team. Uh, you kind of look up and down their lineup. They're all hitting like 350, it feels like. And so, um, you know, they can swing it. We knew that we were going to put up some runs and stuff. And, you know, credit to our bullpen and, and uh, starter pitcher today, Colin. He uh, did a really good job of uh, just kind of holding them and stuff. But it, it was good to get back on track, playing at home, and, um, you know, get back uh, get back on track from this past weekend. I think it was the third pitch of the game. You hit on top of the Hunt Center. Just what, what were you looking for? What you get on that at bat? Yeah, so uh, just kind of sitting like fastball, just middle, middle, and uh, kind of hung a change up and you know, put a good swing on it. And uh, so it was uh, it was awesome. And um, I was kind of glad that I kind of get like a little spark going uh, early for our uh, offense. And then Stone, for you again, um, you, you faced a lot of left-handed hitters, but it seems like they're becoming more comfortable. Maybe you're becoming more comfortable with facing the right-handers. How has that evolved? Um. Really, I just wanted to face – I'll face anybody. It doesn't matter. Uh, I just try and tag, get ahead, and finish the uh, job. So, 
and then for Peyton, it, you know, from from our vantage point, it sure seemed like this felt like not your typical midweek. Just being there in the middle of it, did, did it feel a lot different to you all than, than what a lot of Tuesday games are like Wednesday? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, they're they're a really good team, and uh, we knew that coming in, and um, it's going to be huge for us down the road to be to be able to. Uh, come away with two wins against those te- that that team, and so um, you know it was huge. Uh, it was good. I think this is something that we needed uh, coming coming back from Alabama and dropping two two out of three there. And so uh, to to get back, you know, the good thing about baseball is you just you get to play again the next day or, or two days or whatever it is. And so uh, it was it was huge for us to play a really 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 good team. And um, you know, hopefully we can keep this momentum going in South Carolina. Peyton, you hit a. Lead off yesterday and two hole today. You've hit both in both spots throughout your career. Is there any difference in approach between the two? Uh, you know, not really. Um, I just try to. I don't try to think of myself as like a leadoff batter, just another um batter in the order. Uh, you're really not lead off and um, except for the first at bat of the game. Um, and so that's just kind of like my mindset. But um, you know, just just hitting wherever coach puts me and uh, just trying to have quality at bats and and hard contact. Hey, could you just through that 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 uh, that that lineup double play in the ninth that would be pretty big getting that runner off base? Could you kind of go through that play? Yeah, so um, you know, he hit it pretty good off the bat, and it was like knuckling and like top spun, and so it was uh, it kind of like handcuffed me a little bit. Like I was, I didn't know if it was just gonna like keep going down with the top spin, and I was gonna have to uh, go to second to uh, to Vahiva, but um, you know, it had, uh, stayed up, and uh, but my. I saw him kind of like in my peripheral, like get off the bag, and uh, I knew that uh, if I called it, then we were going to be able to turn double play. And then uh, Peyton Holt, you know, he's played the outfield. Obviously, you think of him as an infielder, and he seems like he's giving you guys some good at bats too. Uh, Dave, I think he's going to keep him in the lineup this weekend. Just what what do you thought about uh, Peyton? Kind of how he dealt with not starting, and now he's playing more, and he's playing different positions, the versatility, all that. Yeah, I mean, first off, he's a great athlete. He's probably one of the best athletes on our team. Um, he could play all all nine positions, all eight uh, positions. And, um, you know, he was a really good teammate. Uh, uh, you know, he felt like he probably should have been in there, but just because he wasn't didn't mean he was a bad teammate or anything. He was a great, great leader for our dugout. And, um, you know, he's like that spark plug that we always talk about, brings a lot of energy, plays 100% and goes all out. So, um, you know, it doesn't surprise me at all that he's out in the outfield and, um, you know, looks like he's played there his, his whole entire career. So um, I'm super happy and excited for him. I heard somebody told me, do you have a bunch of family here today? Uh, I just had my mom and dad. This is actually the first, first midweek that they've came to since I've been here. So Okay. Well, how, how was that for you? It was cool. Um, you know, I uh, I appreciate them. And, you know, I can't thank them enough for the support that they've given me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super close with both of them. And for them to take off work on a Tuesday and Wednesday means a lot to me. So. And the Stone Dave said that was kind of get me over fastball. The guy hits the homer. You know, some guys might have freaked out. I don't know, but you seem like you obviously maintain your cool. Got, got you know, start the guy out. Just well, how'd you react to the home run? And you obviously had a little bit of a cushion there. Yeah, I wasn't happy about it, obviously. And uh, I really wanted to battle that out and just get that last out. So it felt good. Yeah, one more for Peyton. You, you alluded to this a little bit, but you know, tough weekend at Alabama. You beat a good team here twice, and now you, you seem like you have you know your mojo bag going going to Carolina. Just how, kind of what's the mindset when you have a couple good mid midweek wins? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, midweeks are for maybe getting some guys going that um, you know had, they struggled at the plate offensively, like in the weekend, and just get their confidence back. And um, kind of like I said, like it was great that we were able to play like a really good team and in, in the midweek. And um, you know, it's going to be fun this weekend. Uh, you know, I think we need to play better on the road and. Uh, we haven't necessarily shown that this year. And so uh, another opportunity to be able to go on the road, it's going to be fun. And, um, you know, hostile environment. South Carolina's got a really good team and a uh, really good player. So uh, we're looking forward to it. The, the winning streak at home has now reached 25 games. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's uh, – it's uh, we love playing here. Um, you know, it's obviously our home ballpark where we practice every day, and so uh, to be able to kind of protect our house has kind of been like the motto. And um, it's it's been really cool for us to go out there, play well here at home, and in front of our home fans. Stone, you pitched quite a bit at, at Kansas, and now you've got, got this interesting role where you come in, face the guys, maybe an inning. Just how has it been adjusting to this role, and is this kind of what you expected it would be like this year? Um, adjusting really, I've just. Wanted to 
pitch for the team and I wanted to do my best and, you know, just do my best with the opportunities I got. So, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. I just want to help the team out and win in any way possible. Peyton, uh, this was like a, this was a team that came in averaging 9.8 runs per game uh, coming into the midweek. Did you think that kind of pressured the offense of trying to punch back? Like, of course, you had the comeback victory yesterday, yesterday but do you think this uh, pressured the team of trying to be on your offensive game a little more because you knew this team was going to score a lot? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're they're definitely offensive, but – um, you know, y'all, y'all seen our pitching all year and, uh, we trust those guys and, um, you know, at the end of the day, good pitching beats good hitting. And so, um, you know, they, they were able to, to hold those guys and, uh, but I don't think so. I think we've been, we've done really well, you know, as a whole, as an offense is when, when the team scores, we, uh, punch back. And so we were able to kind of do that. Um, you know, I know last night they put up you know, six or seven kind of early and our bullpen came in and, and did a great job for us to be able to fight back. So it was huge, but I don't think so. Um, I just think that we just go out there and, and we just go pitch by pitch. And I think that's kind of why we've had some success these past two days. All right, guys. Appreciate it.